Welcome to another Ecological Niches video. Instead of the end, I'm going to ask you at the beginning. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel or like the video. And if you really like it, share it with somebody you know. Today we're going to talk about the two big categories of things in ecology. Abiotic and biotic. Abiotic factors are those things that are non-living, while biotic factors are living. Abiotic factors include things like temperature, light, and moisture, as well as the amount of precipitation or rain an area incurs, or even the amount of light available in an area, what makes up the atmosphere, how much of different gases are present, the rock types that are present, the minerals in the ground, and so, so much more. While biotic factors include all of the living organisms in an area, from the biggest elephant all the way through the plants, the protists, the fungi, all the way down to the smallest single bacterium present. Both abiotic and biotic factors are important in determining the health of an ecosystem. Abiotic factors can determine things like the amount of energy available in an ecosystem, while biotic factors determine things like the number of predators and prey, or the transfer of energy and matter within a system. Both abiotic and biotic factors can be affected by things like human activity. For example, abiotic factors can be affected by things like pollution, while biotic factors can be affected by things like hunting, introducing invasives on purpose or accident, removing habitat areas of plants and others, for various reasons, including homes and other buildings. In order to understand and protect ecosystems, it is important to understand the role of both abiotic and biotic factors in how they relate to each other and themselves. Thanks for watching another Ecological Niches video. If you made it this far, why not subscribe and give a like? If you already subscribed, we appreciate you. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before summer. If you have something to share, or questions, or anything at all, we'd love to hear from you down in the comments, and we'll try to get back to you. Once again, thanks for watching.